Our story starts far north. Well, maybe not that far north, but just south of Traverse City in a town called Gron at Rico's. The broster is on. There you are, enjoy. Table set okay. for a special group of men who look very familiar. Nurses, guys. Hi, Santa. Hi there. Oh, 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 yes, they're all Santas from across Michigan. Hi, I'm Santa Jim. And I'm Santa Michael. And I'm Santa Charlie. I'm Santa Chris. I'm Santa Bill. I'm Santa Jerry. Hi, I'm Santa Greg. Hello, I'm Santa Randy. It's a jolly spectacle, that's for sure. It seems surreal. <laughs> Complete with Santa shirts, festive caps, appropriate ringtones, and trinkets. Give Nora a dollhouse instead. <laughs> <laughs> Customer complaint. Oh, oh my God, I love it. They meet just four times a year to swap stories and compare notes on what it's like to embody the most beloved man in the world year round. I, I love it when I'm out in public and uh, children see you and they gauze in amazement. You know, they just gaze at you and like, they're in wonder. And when you stop to talk to them, they're even more amazed because they really think, you know, this could be the real guy. You look like this 365 days That's a year. Right. Yeah. And you end, you know, like, just like with you. One of my favorite things was is you walk in the room and you immediately smiled at me. I feel like I, I can't, like, resist the urge to try to hug you again. Oh, look at you, She's on my nice list, you know. Here in, this, in one component, think of it, completely stranger, you've never met before, but yet we're best friends. It's at a point in my life where I, I can't go anywhere. I'm recognized every day by either an adult or a child. It just happens all the time. I walked into Bronner's to get something because we were on our way home from a festival and I had to leave because I was being mobbed. I don't know which is more fun, kids under seven or the people over 70. <laughs> the senior citizens in nursing homes, the grandma and grandpa's out for dinner. Yeah. Yo, you have to be listening for everybody. We all still want a little magic, though, Santa Randy, right? Right. And you all have to remember to believe. It's going to be a great season. The kids are going to be so happy. I'm so excited. I think it's so exciting. Yep, the season is upon them. It's me, Santa. <laughs> and that's why Santa Michael invited us to listen in on the serious convos over broasted chicken, from peppermint oil in beards, and I had to get up to Charlotte. to comparing histories and answering the tough questions. So that's one of the purposes of this. What are we? What are our backstories are? What are we doing in that conversation? We going back. So that way we're consistent with each other, at least close to. It's like here's my scenario. This is what took place. What would you do? And then you learn from one another. You glean from their, their wisdom and knowledge. You always have to be ready to answer the kids' questions mm -hmm. wherever, whenever, and however they ask you. I, I'm sure with all of the funny things, there has had to be the ones that have made you cry. There's always the kids that ask their the grandma's they want to come back. And that will happen, you know, at least once a year, you know what I mean? And, and, you, and you just get ready for it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like last year mine was, was saying I'd like one more year, you know, and so your heart just drops. Um, what we're here for is sharing love and reminding people of giving and caring. And so there's something about Santa that f people have the freedom to say things to Santa and to share with Santa that they probably keep inside and all of a sudden now they can let it out. You are all the keepers of dreams yes. and hope and magic. And that's got to be a very big task sometimes. These Santas know the power they hold by virtue of their beards, girth, and good nature, <laughs> set to be the big guy's proxy at malls, outdoor festivals, and hospitals for the year to come. When you wear the beard year round and it's white, um, you, you live it. You live it and I don't regret it at all. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Here we go. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer.